I'll say that, um, like I said about the book, you know, that we did spend um, 12 years writing this book. It's about 300 pages. So a lot of what I've talked about um, today, uh, we go into much more detail. It gives a um, three chapters. There's an introduction and a forward, and then three chapters about Buddhist psychology, an introduction, Buddhist psychology views, and then meditation methods. Three chapters on Gestalt therapy, uh, intro and theory and practice, uh, convergences. Um, I didn't talk about this at all, but there's a chapter on how we see Gestalt therapy offering clinicians, and you know, perhaps clinicians, like you were saying earlier, people who might not identify themselves necessarily as Gestalt therapists, but people who are interested in a psychotherapy system that aligns with Buddhist psychology and mindfulness. So we have a chapter on um, Gestalt therapy as a clinical application of Buddhist psychology and mindfulness. So it kind of walks people through, like if you are interested in this Buddhist psychology and mindfulness perspective, here are some, because, oh, well, this, this feels like important actually, um, that a lot of the books that I came across initially had to do with kind of how to be a mindful therapist and how to bring presence and acceptance and things like that into the therapy session. But it had less, um, it was, they were less helpful about, but what are we actually doing as we're sitting with someone, as we're bringing our presence and as we're being mindful, what are we attending to? What are we looking at? And so with Gestalt therapy, we're attending to the present moment. We're paying attention to the relationship. We're being in embodied experience. We're experimenting with what's happening in the moment. So I think it offers um, therapists some ways of, of doing that. And um, I guess that, yeah, I guess I'd like to, to uh, um, maybe end with that idea that um, one of the one of the reasons that we were interested in this integration is that we wanted to um, bring some of this gestalt therapy understanding perhaps to the broader psychotherapy world um, as people are looking for it seems like people are looking for they're they're really drawn to the Buddhist ideas and to the um, uh, mindfulness practice but what are we actually what do we actually do in therapy with that. And so I think that we have something to offer there. I hope we do.